see. We remember, remember it was all of them sleeping. Don't read that scripture very much. Matthew 25. It was all the five virgins. It was not just the police virgins. They were all asleep. Why? Because they were totally unconcerned about the time that the bridegroom would come. So they relaxed. That is where the church is today. Why more? That is where the church is today throughout the world. The church is sleeping. Totally lukewarm. God is not the priority in the life of the church. Money, property, education, husband, wife, and of course, abundant wickedness. This is what is going on today in the lives of people who come to church. That's how the term is here. Those that sleep. And then all of a sudden, they shout, kill. Behold, the back room coming. And people who are asleep, what did they do? Then everybody woke up. Yay. Yeah. Eh? Hey. So it's true. Eh? It's true that the back room, eh? Hey. What I could do now, yeah? You start searching. Those who are smart, you look at the alarm. Hey, you know where you put now? You are allowed to run for some time. There's, I don't know the name. This is like suit that covers the name, have you? Suit, suit. What does that mean for suit? But you know, something covers the face. It doesn't shine brightly. Then when you don't tap it, fucker, the suit will drop off. And then the light will shine so badly. So immediately the when they did that, those who had oil in their lap, when they removed the suit, the oil made the, the light to shine well. And those who did not have oil or lost oil, when they did their uh, what that he called that that piece of blood? The week when did the week? Nothing happened. To me, I thought to the sister I said, "You only say I don't give you some." I don't care who gave that. We don't understand this question. Ah, at all, at all, at all. If I decide to give you part of this now, I'll be in trouble. Uh, go and get. Yeah, <laughs> so my guy, they got up. Let's go and get our home. As they went out, the bridegroom came. And those two lights were burning, they come along with me. He took them away, married them, and they went into the wedding number. But we stood where we are now. Those who want to go and look for the oil, when they came, they found that the gates were all stopped. In fact, locks, not just shot, because there's a different few shot and lock. They said something. Master, Master, bridegroom, remember uh, you engaged me, uh, you engaged me, I'm your, I don't know what you call it, you know. Remember, I'm your fancy, I'm your fancy, the bridegroom, no, yes. You said, I don't even know you. Ah, remember that day, you came now. Your people came, they came to see my people. Um, uh, first you said, I don't know you. Hey! But I've been waiting for you since you know the young word, I don't know you. Do you want to be that state, George? Huh? That is why we want to know what the program of God is for us. We are in the end time. Whether people like to hear it or not, that remains the truth. 
There is no generation that will come after you and me here again. It is over. This is the last generation of earth. This earth is going to be destroyed in our own time. If you don't like it, I'm sorry for you. But this is the truth you are hearing. The question now is, how soon? And that is the reason we are teaching what we are teaching now. May God help you. May God help, help all of us to have an understanding of this in Jesus' name. If by chance you don't catch anything I say, please write down your question. At the end of this teaching, we shall have one Sunday to take your questions. Because it is necessary that you know. Let nobody be in ignorance. Nobody is going to heaven believing that God is going to hear your cry. Say, hey, Father, you know, it's because I didn't know, uh, my church did not teach me well. God has no time for that. Nobody is going to be in ignorance. You must know, and you must know it well now. So we got very well of you who are you are who are here basically and those who will join us on the Zoom platform may God help you to have understanding this day in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So let's go open our Bible. Let us read Daniel 9:27. Daniel 9, verse 27. Father, we thank you for your word. Your children are holding your word. Bless them as they hold your word. All of us, sanctify our hearts. These hands are holding your word. Sanctify them all, O God. Let your Holy Spirit impart knowledge to all hearts this day, that as they understand your word, that they may they receive divine enablement to go and share it with others, all to your honor and glory. In Jesus Christ's holy name, we pray. Amen. Daniel 9, 27, everybody read together as we all stand up in honor of the Lord. Everybody read together, Daniel 9, 27, ready, Read, and he shall in the covenant with many for one week. In the midst of the week, he shall call the sacrifice and the obligations to him. And for the overspreading of the government, he shall make it desolate, even unto the consummation. And that the judge shall be called on the Lord of the Catholic, to thank you for the poor Lord. We are only going to pray for the man in Jesus' name. Please be seated. Do I have the scripture? Is the scripture? We want to go to the bottom and show. So we have two things there. While I wait for the script, we will see do what we can. Can you see it? We all know about the 70 weeks. Remember, the 70 weeks concern just the Jews. You understand? It concerns the Jews. The whole of this day, this life is only about the Jews. 
nothing to do with you and me the Gentiles, people who are not of Israel. Do you understand what? Okay. First several weeks, there should be two weeks. This is where the Ohana is, the remaining one week. How does that concern us? This remaining one week. We have known already in the past two Sundays. This is past. The building of the temple in Jerusalem it took 49 years, seven weeks. Then the next 62 weeks, about two years, led to the time of the Messiah. Then in verse 26, as you look into Daniel 9, in verse 26, the mistake that has been made everywhere today when they are discussing this matter is that they read in the Someone read that verse 26 for me. And after three score and two weeks. And after three score and two weeks, look at here. This is the three score and two weeks. Three score means two. two. Shamizah the thought of, but not for himself. So, this is the 62 weeks here. It stops here, right? In the 62 weeks, okay, read 25. No, therefore, and understand. No, therefore, and understand. That from the going forth of the commandments. Yes. To restore and to build Jerusalem. Look at, to restore and to build Jerusalem. Look at it here, yes, that's the word. Unto Messiah. Yes, come. The prince yes. shall be seven weeks. Seven weeks, can you see that here? Yeah? Seven weeks. You know, one week is seven years. So seven weeks is seven times seven, that's 49 years, yes? Mm -hmm. And three score and two weeks. First part, seven weeks. The next part, 62 weeks. That is from going forth of the commandment to the time of the Messiah is seven weeks and 62 weeks. When you read that, did you talk about Messiah dying in that 25? No. no. So showing you that from the beginning here to the time of Messiah, he was not dead. But did he die? Did Messiah die or not? Yeah. Question is when? So he was six now. And after this call. Ah, so, so stop. After all of these for the two years, seven weeks and six two weeks, which is but now yes, for so, 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 years, it's only when this period was over that Messiah now died. What killed the Messiah? Was it because he was ugly? Or was it because they were just seeing him for the first time? It was because he started ministering and the Jews did not like what he was telling them. So how long was that? Can't help you. And this is what you see here. We've done for seven weeks, fifty weeks. That's what sixty-nine weeks. Out of seventy weeks, what did they learn? Right, so half of it, three and a half years. Now read twenty-seven. And you shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. Ah. Who shall say and what he shall confirm? He, he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. Question Who is this? I want to ask again Who is he? he? We are looking at the in, in verse 25. What is he saying? No, therefore, and understand that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to be Jerusalem.
Does it add one? And after three score and two, we shall shall desire the cut off. Yes, go on. But not for himself. Mm -hmm. And the people of the prince shall come. People of the who? The prince that shall come. Go. We shall desire the prince, right? Then we are going to hear now about the prince that shall come, right? The two are they the same or not? I'm very curious now. Are they the same or not? Are you sure? Yes. Those who say they are the same, let me see my hand. Okay, those who say they are not the same. Okay. Those who are not sure. Praise God. So let us read again 25. Everybody must be kind and long. Yes. Know therefore and understand yes. that from the going forth of the commandment to mm -hmm. restore and to give Jerusalem unto Messiah the prince. Unto Messiah the prince. Who is that prince then? Do we accept that? Yes, That's Messiah, right? Yes, okay, then go to 26. And after three score and two weeks, shall Messiah be cut off. But not for himself mm -hmm. and the people of the prince that shall come. People of the prince that shall come. That prince that shall come. Is that the Messiah? Oh. You know the yes. Okay, I don't know what that is you have. Mm -hmm. I want you to look at Prince. Verse 25. Verse 26. Look at us now, everybody. Look into your Bible. Prince 25, Prince 26. Prince 25, the two death is capital or small letter. So then go to 26. The two death is this capital or small letter. Therefore, can that be said? So he's talking about two different places here. You understand that, John? Yes, sir. Okay, now go to 27. And it shall confirm the covenant with many for what? What shall confirm? The covenant. What? What? Who? And he. He shall confirm the covenant. That he there. Is it capital or small? Small. Therefore, I think it will be to the prince of verse 26. Do you understand now? Yes. The prince whose people came and destroyed Rome in AD, uh, came and destroyed Jerusalem and the temple in AD 70. And those people who did that, they came from Rome. It is not scripture now. This is simple history. The people who came to destroy Jerusalem and the temple in 1870, they were victims of the Roman army. And this happened under General Titus, military king and emperor. Do you understand that talk? So it's very clear to you now. Good. Because I want you to see something. All right? Okay. So we finish with this. Here, the Messiah was killed. Remember, it's meant, some, it's meant one week ago. The, the Messiah, was Jesus Christ, he used half of that week. So what is left of that 70 weeks? Look up here. Seven weeks gone, 62 weeks gone, half week gone. What is left? How many years? So after the Zion was through with his preaching, with his ministry, remember it's all to the truth. Did Jesus preach to the Gentiles when he came on this earth? No. He preached only to the truth. So after Jesus died, of these 70 weeks, what we know is three and a half years, two or four. 
we accept that we the question now is when Jesus died, did the gospel continue to go to the Gentiles and to the Jews? No. Huh? No. It stopped. Is that not true? Yes, sir. And it has stopped since that time of Christ till today. The gospel has not gone back to the Jews up till now. It has been dealing only with us, the Gentiles, the non Jews. So at this point, that Messiah died, the remaining three and a half years, God paused. It's a moment of watching television. The thing they see you. And yet, you want to go and use the bathroom. What do you do? You press pause. So that when you come back, you start from where you stop. Not so. Uh -huh. So, God pressed everything here. So, as far as God is concerned, no more preaching to the Jews just yet. And God's to you and me, the Gentiles. So, from this point here now, when the guy died, we moved to this place. All this we did last week. I just go through it again. We come to this place. The guy is dead. So that time that the guy died, things have been going on. The Romans destroyed Jerusalem and the temple, 87 years. This one is interesting. I told the last Sunday. Israel and the Arabs, they are going to go to war. You, everybody sitting here, you are going to see this in war. World that talk, I say everybody here will see this Arab Israeli war. It is coming very that is why we teach these things so that when you hear that it is happening, they will say, hey, 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 we talk about us, that day, eh? it says, don't happen. Then you begin to say, ha, ah. you do not say, you don't believe the end. I better begin to say, you need to check your body, you need to check your life. That's how we are teaching people. Arab Israel war, nothing will stop it. It is the word of God. It is in this book that all of you are holding. And I gave you samples of it. I gave you Psalm 83. I gave you Isaiah 19. I gave you Micah 7. It's your business to go and read it. I cannot start going through all of that because we spend more a long time here. So go and read in the right. If you have any questions, <coughs> On our question and answer day, when we are through with all of this, take your question, we will answer by God's grace in Jesus' name. Do you understand the job? But Arab Israel war is going to happen. Unless the word of God is a lie. And is the word of God a lie? No. God says every word of it shall come to pass. Not one word of God. That is in this book, you and I are holding God Bible. Not one word of God in this book will go without happening. It will happen. Please stop thinking in your mind. Hey, I'll go. Uh, uh, look at it. Uh, this time will go happen. Uh, I know you get a good calculation. This is your calculation. When Jesus died, over 200 scriptures were fulfilled. Bam! By his death. In that hour that he died, they got 200 scriptures of the field. So stop thinking. Eh, but I go, eh, yeah, I, but this time, eh, that is it. Eh, we have only two other years. Now, eh, this time, leave your feet that conclusion in the world. Just say to yourself, the word of God does not fail. No word of God will we skip 
As a result of this war between Arab and the Arab and Israel, there's another war going to come up. This is the God War. You will see that in Ezekiel 38 and Ezekiel 39. Please go and read it. You see, your place, you read this paper. You watch television. Uh, what do you want people like to watch? Not movies. Social media. There's no party here who doesn't spend over one hour every day reading social looking at social media. You know it's start telling me. Maybe one time, one, two hours every day to drop on social media. Even to sleep at night, you will sleep very attack in social media. So social media is the Bible at night. You go better. Yeah? Turn the Bible to social media. So this, this war, this next war, God war, is going to follow this one. It will not be long after Arab Israeli will happen, then this one will happen. We did this last Sunday. It is Russia. That we need this war. Russia will be the leader. Iran will be there. Turkey will be there. All the Georgian countries around Russia, the area they call it geography, the Caucasus, they will be there. Then you have the area of North Africa, Libya, then you have Black Africa, the Bible calls it Ethiopia, or sometimes the word Kut, you see, that means Black, and I told you last one, when I last to hear it or not, Nigeria Kut is exactly why, because the whole of West Africa, from Mauritania on the extreme left to Gambia on the extreme right. When you put your map and check the whole of West Africa, the entire north of West Africa is largely Islamic. Do you hear the word? Talking. Is 90 something percent Islamic. Well, yes, yeah, that's black Christianity. We need to attack them from. It's in Turkey that it, the legal percent was just called Christian. It's in Turkey. But that feels the day. It's 90 something percent Islamic. Iran is going 90 something percent Islamic. What many people don't know is that the south of Russia, a good portion of the south of Russia is Islamic. American do realize that. So you see, this Gulf War is mainly an Islamic war against Israel. People who are coming to avenge what Israel would have done to the Arabs to make Israel to recapture the Temple Mount. Because Israel, everything, three things make up the life of Israel. Three things. One, the life itself, Israel. Two, Jerusalem, the capital. Three, the temple. 
From the first, Rome destroyed Jerusalem and the temple. The Jews were totally cut out. To practically every nation in the world. After over one million, God killed right there in Jerusalem. Our home was ruling Israel. When Jesus Christ was there, it was room that was ruling. I'm sure you all know that. And the Lord the reason the Jews rejected Jesus as their Messiah. Because he said, Our Messiah will deliver us from our oppressors. So this young preacher who did all these miracles, yes, we did not fight this oppression. He said, when they gave me a certain question, he said, give to Caesar what is Caesar, that you give to the oppressor what the oppressor has given to. They said he was even supporting the oppressor. So how can we believe this our desire? They need to understand. You see? So, from that time, the Jews were scattered. And wherever they were, they knew they had a place that God had given them. They knew. But the question is, how do we get here? That has always been their problem. Now, let me just quickly tell you something. The Jews knew the word of God that they will return to their land. You hear me, George? Okay. Somebody is here. So, Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Uh, Ezekiel. 36. Is it 36? Somebody read me. Is it 36? But it's 20. Is it 36? Is it 36? Verse 24. Verse 28. For I will take you from among the essence. I will take you from what? Among the essence. Hidden. Among, I'll tell you among the hidden, yes. And that are you out. By the who are the hidden? When that we talk about hidden. Said that. You understand? Meaning you are hidden. Before, before gospel came to us, eh? before the gospel came to the Gentiles, God looked upon us as hidden, which means people who have no knowledge of. God. The only name of an idol. So that's the name of Hegel. Yeah, so we'll talk again. If you can tell the six verse 24. So I will take you from among the Who is the I then? God. So God speaking through the first Ezekiel, yes? From the from among the eagles and gather you out of all countries. And gather you out of all countries. Yes. The fighting was everywhere where they were scattered by Rome, and during the time of the first tribes, when the Assyrians came and took away the ten tribes of Israel, scattered them till today. From the time the Assyrians came in, this is 732, and took away the ten tribes of Israel, there is no record that they returned to today. I'm talking to you. But to be coming back, this is by this tradition. So we get for this is God now saying, wherever the Jews have been scattered, he said, I will return you to your land. I will bring you into your own land. I will bring you to your own land. Who is saying that? He's talking to him. Jews. Say, so I will bring you back into your own land. You know, I don't care where you have been scattered. I allow you to be scattered to start with. But I will bring you right back. Have you ever said that to any other people in the world? Whether people like it or not, it's not that we are supporting Israel. It's not my business. But I'm saying concerning the word of God. God is very specific about what 
who will do his business. He can say to the world, you and I like it or not. He doesn't need us to like it. He's just saying what he called will do. So whether you like him or not, that's not your own Kampala. God does not care. But he said to you, watch out. I am going to do so and so. And so I will return you to your own land. No problem. You see, you can, yeah? it's fine. No, no, it's just fine. Go to twenty eight. And ye shall dwell in the land. Uh -huh. Ye, who are the ye? Shall do what? Shall dwell in the land. Which land? That I gave to your fathers. The land that I called gave to your fathers. Wait. What was the land that God gave to Israel? Tell me, uh, put your finger in the yellow. Put your finger there. Then somebody go quickly. Genesis 15, 18. The land that I gave your father. See where God spoke about that land. Yes? Who is there? Yes? In the same day, yes. the Lord made a covenant with Abraham. God made a covenant with Abraham. That's the father of who? Yes. Okay. Saying, mm -hmm. unto thy seed have I given this land. Did you say it was only to uh, Abraham? Eh? To die after you. Yes? From the river of Egypt. So look at like the land that God gave Israel. You should never know that this is God. So you are going to know that this is not a war. You know how to speak. From the land of from the river of Egypt. From the river of Egypt. The river of Egypt the river high. Yes? Onto the great river, the river Euphrates. Onto the great river, river Euphrates. That is the land of Israel that God gave to Abraham to be the possession of his generation after him. And Israel occupied that land in this way. The answer is what? No. So, with the word of God, say, so what the city of that nation, and they are talking about people. To reach up to Israel, they are crazy. They are mental. And it is because in the United Nations, they don't know about God. They have a room in the United Nations. They don't need money to go to New York. And go to, New York, to that um, United Nations. There's a room there. Dedicated to idols. So, how do you accept them? So, we're talking about what's in the Bible. That's why they're talking about the land of Israel must be divided into two one part for Palestinians, one part for Israel. This thing never happened. I'm not supporting the state of Israel today. That's not my business. I'm just saying that concerning the word of God, it will not happen. That land will only be for Israel. And it is not this little place where they are now. It's going to start from the river of Egypt, which is by night, and go on to the river of Euphrates, river Euphrates which is in the land today that we call Iraq. You know what the land given to Israel by God stretches from part of Egypt through Lebanon, through Syria, to uh, Iraq, and then from there into part of Arabia, where you call Jordan today, and to where you call Israel today. That is the land. And for anybody who does not believe this, when you go and read Ezekiel, from chapter 40 to chapter 40, from chapter 40 to chapter 48, if you spend time, Studying, you will be amazed that it will finally come to pass when we enter into the millennium. 
when Christ returns to this earth to settle the kingdom of heaven on earth, you will see Israel occupying the area of part of Egypt right up to this area that God said, in Iraq, taking in part of Arabia. Nothing is going to stop it. Does it mean I'm against Arabs? Absolutely not. I have nothing against them. But I'm just saying, this is what the word of God says. I wonder anybody in that city of God is it going to come to pass. So we are seeing now, verse 28, yes. And ye shall be my people. And ye shall be my people. And I will be your God. And be your God. So when that time comes, God will reconcile the Israel and be their God again. Do you understand why? Because Israel is the wife of Jehovah. We have a church. Israel is the wife of Jehovah spiritually, as the church is the bride of Christ. You catch this church. Okay, good. So this thing is going to happen. Now, the exciting thing about God war, which I mentioned last week, as a result of this God war, Russia is going to be destroyed. So, does it mean Russia will be wiped out on the face of the earth? No. But if it be so destroyed, it will be totally disabled, and if you have no clout in the world again. But not only Russia. For those of you who want to jack up to America, you ready to go, because when you are jack in America, eh, you shall be dead. In your Japa states, when you will receive nuclear bombs, and if you shatter America, pata pata. So continue, go and sell your papa land, sell your papa land. Go and do corn and do raise money in the corner of the ritual, make money so because you want to go to America. Go, but don't think that while you are there, prepare your mind to help. Nuclear bomb, where it will come on you because it will certainly come. Nothing will stop it. America will be destroyed. At the time that Russia is also being destroyed. That is why I told you that one day. When we get to the time of the war, of Armageddon, the battle of Armageddon, there is no mention of Russia and there is no mention of America. Can't have, Armageddon is like World War. How does it, does it make sense that we have World War and Russia is not there, America is not there? Does it make sense? That is not. It doesn't make sense. But it is going to be like that, and that's because by that time, both Russia and America, they are so, they, they will be so destroyed, they can do absolutely nothing. It's a, it's a boxing. You say they have a block and blow. So they are lying down. That's all. So without Russia, Without America, what do you have left this the world? You have Europe. You understand, George? You have China. And when you get back to the book of Daniel and Revelation, you will find that concerning the war. Of the battle of Armageddon, it is Europe and China. The Bible calls them the kings of the East. So, right? 
China, leading Vietnam, leading the Koreas, all of them together, they are coming on to Israel, they will pass through Turkey, those that are pass through Turkey, the Euphrates will be made dry so that they can pass on dry ground, coming for the war of Armageddon. And that is now Christ will come and now destroy Europe, China, all of them together. So you have it just. This is the story of this world. And there's no other book where you are going to get it from on this earth or on the Bible. So all these things that call themselves religious, there's no way we can ever want to compare with Christianity. God gave to us. I hope you, you are with me in this is a big job. Okay, so we have got here our fifty ways. As I said last Sunday, in 1933, God came. 1933, Christ gave his prophet messenger to this last earth of the church. You know, Christ came down to John the Apostle in the book of Revelation. I'm sure you know that Christ came down to him. So go and read Revelation chapter 1, and chapter 2, and chapter 3. He came down to him and he told him how he, Christ, will organize his church. Because the church belongs to him. The church does not belong to Peter. And Christ did not build his church on the head of Peter. That is church is not talking nonsense. They said that to get people to come to them. Christ can never build his church on Rome, on Catholic, on Anglican or Protestant or anybody of Pentecost has never. The church of Christ is built on the revelation of the word of God. Finish. And when he said, Thou art Peter, upon this rock I build my church, he was not talking about Peter as a man, as a human being. He was talking about the answer that Peter gave. When Christ asked the apostles, who do men say that I am? And the apostles said to Christ, if they say you are a leader, they say you are this, you are that. They were enjoying themselves laughing at the ignorance of the world. Then Christ said, okay, no problem. Who myself will they follow me? Who am I? Uh -huh. You know, Baba said, what is going on with you? This one, look this one, this one, this one, now who is this myself? And finally, Peter blotted out and said, Thou art Christ, the Son of the living God. Today, people in Turkey today don't even understand that statement of, of, of uh, Peter. Thou art Christ. They don't understand it. But everybody says, Jesus of Christ, Jesus of Christ, Jesus of Christ. Who is Christ? And that's why there's confusion in the church world today. But Peter received revelation at that moment that thou art the Christ. When you talk about the Christ, you are talking about creation. That's why I keep reminding you this tiny little assembly we have here. That when you say you are Christ, you can do Christ, just know that what you are saying is Jesus. Who is the Christ? Or Jesus the Christ, which we now simply call Jesus Christ. 
Christ is not the name of Jesus. When I hear the job, Christ is not his name. His name is Jesus. And this Jesus is the Christ. Do you understand? And at that moment, God gave that revelation to listen to to hear me. God gave this revelation to Peter at that moment. And so he said, and so, and so, and so, And so he said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And so spoke of Jesus on that tongue and said to him, Heaven and earth did not give you Peter. This thing you spoke now, sorry, man, flesh and blood did not give it to you. In other words, you did not say it. Because of any knowledge you picked up from any school or from anywhere, the flesh and blood did not give you that. Then you got it directly from above. And I said, If not, then I said, Thou and Peter, you change his name from Simeon to Peter. Thou art Peter upon the rock, upon the rock of revelation, which means the answer the way the answer, upon that rock of revelation, I feel my son. And the day of prayer cannot be made and made Peter. So it is not Peter, and for goodness to God. For my family, family and friends, Peter was not the first book. He could not have been the first book. There was no capital when Peter was afraid to have the next thing of God. And there are no history that said that Peter was even ever in Rome. The only thing that I found is that the Romans killed Peter, even as he cut off the head of the head of Paul. Really? As I think it's secret to the FAD, when Paul died in the world of the world, was very difficult to the world of the world. The answer is so strong. And the fact that General Titus, who was his very good son of the temple, was very difficult to answer his name. So all this lies of those people who are just, he does not care. There's nothing to it. God cannot do it. Christ cannot do his work on top of man. And an unstable man like Peter. He is not created to be. He was not stable like many of us. But he is in heaven. He is in state. No question about it. And for anybody who wants to get angry, that I said he was unstable, let me ask the one that was in the Bible. In the Bible, Peter was discussed as a December. What did he common name? He said this December. This book is, the Bible called it this book. Go and read the tradition. Paul called it that, and God allowed him to read the Bible. So that's the thing. So that means it's not on God to eat. Evidence of God. That is the fact that God did to open the doors and the doors to the center in the house of communion. Christ. Christ, how do I get that? Christ is getting his job. Your job of Peter is getting him. And your job, Paul, is getting ten times. Very clear. And Rome. 
and it's not that I'm doing it down. Road is too easy. I'm not just a road, I just try the job. Right, right, right. Yes, right. Yes, right. Uh, because uh, they were all together, uh, they were mixing with Brenda, all of them. We tried to do no problem. And then one day, yes. You have brought them to you. If you want them to be a good man, you call it good man. Mary was invented. For others, he did not have to be born. He was no longer a man. I did not say so that the Bible will talk out. In Matthew 125, the Bible says that right. Present. Is not no Mary, which is not half the son, all that is Mary, until after Mary has given birth to her first born son. If somebody gets first born, does it not get another child again? A child? Huh? You will say this child is a first born. You don't have to say your only born. So your first born, what does it mean? You need to get second born, and you get first born, you get first born, all of that. That's all. It's a big battle. How anybody can believe such a stupid line, stupid and this kind of time? What the Bible has to do here? So they were all there together. And then the people came from this. Uh, Yes, yes. You brought out of Jesus. Yes, yes. You brought out of Jesus. Yes, yes. You brought out of Jesus. Mary came back to God's voice and said, Yes. And I can only tell you, I can only give you the identity. If you ask me, I'll give you the identity. This is history. It's clear. You know? So, they have been eating together with the Gentiles. They were eating together, snuggling together. And when these people, messengers from Jews, so we have Paul and Peter go there, and we have Peter come, Peter come to win, and start mixing with their people, the two people, to put the message. So they we were all mixing together. Where is that from? And people are coming from. Those who put the way who are an hypocrite. You are choosing the Bible, you use the world, you were dissembling, dissembling in English, to give this hypocrisy. Does that make people a sinner? No. They should have to learn what was made. But God will not tell you. Peter will be sent to God to be for heaven. Mary will not be sent to God to be sent to God to heaven. You who are living down the contact of glory and pray to glory and to see the passage of me is your son. May God forgive you for your idolatry. Mary is a great woman of God. She is in heaven. But like every other person, Adam, Eve, Daniel, all of them, Tomo, not one person is going to be able to do it. And they will not be able to do it. For that day, 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 when you and I, if we do pray for Christ, we will see it together that day, the day of rapture. You understand this, God? This is my book. So, back to our book. Yeah. So from that on, in 1933, God gave me the vision. That morning, as he was trying to go for service, he said he was just planning to buy one small car. That day, 
and that is and I was like to take you to the church for the patient to the Lord, for the patient to the Lord, the Christ to the Christ to the And I gave him a vision, several visions. And I don't know what will happen. That time to the end, and the world will do. Five of eight visions have happened exactly as he said them. The sixth one we are looking at it today is about, is about America, about their politics. In that sixth one, he saw a woman rise politically in America and was born into office. And when she was born into office, he wore a dress that was royal purple dress. When by the work the vice president wore that purple dress, and that's when the world took the hell. There was a man who said this before, over 17 years ago. It came to pass two years ago. So I want it that one. But the last of those seven visions was they had a big bank, and when it turned, he saw it lying in the moon. That is to see what this is going for. It's all this clear to you now. So let's move forward to this. After the first war, the next thing that will happen that is of importance is the rapture. Now look, as somebody is Checking out Romans 11 25 to read. Look, turn, look up here. This day here, all of this is about the news, right? Huh? The whole of this is about the dead guys. Because after the verse was killed, the prophet was moved to the dead guys. That is why. The Zara said here, I brought it down to this place. And from this place now, right to the last door will be the period of the dead time. Are you with me, Doug? That is the that is the Lord we are in today. The fact we are in today, receiving the gospel of Jesus Christ, started from the time to see this world. Is this that to you? Okay. So all of these things will happen. Christ has been killed. Rome has destroyed the Ottoman Temple. What are the exceptions? The Zed Arab War, Bob War, and finally Rapport. Romans 11 25. Yes. That we should not be afraid of the time of the world. For I would not, brethren, yes. that you should be ignorant of this mystery, lest you should be wise in your own counsels. For the question to all the Gentiles, he says, You Gentiles, that are there, you know. Those that bring Gaga, they have your service and with us. They say, I am cool with you. If you could have been a river, then I'm going to lie. That blindness in part is happened to Israel. Blindness! Israel was blinded. They didn't know their desire. He said, but why did they not have the Messiah? Until the fullness of the Gentiles become. Amen. The Jews, Israel, God deliberately blinded them. So that the text, you and me, we have a opportunity to call in and receive the gospel. What do you call it there? The fullness of the Gentiles. But the fullness of the Gentiles 
treatment is rapture. You have the church. Who oh, knows of this type of thing is rapture? You get confused on that song that we are doing. So, you start to look at it. Look at the world that we call. I want to say two things. It does not concern what I'm thinking now, but it's just a case to say so that you don't get confused. I mean, Remember what the letter was or the fullness of the gender becoming. Fullness. Remember, fullness. That's about rapture. And read Luke 31 And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. Uh, talking about the Jews. And shall be led away captive into all nations. Yes, that's it, it's a thing. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles. It's a thing, it's a thing. Until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Ah, until the times of the Gentiles. What you read in Romans was what? Fullness of the Gentiles. And I told you that is rapture. We look, time of the Gentiles becoming that is, when time of the Gentiles is revealed, that is a market of Because, because as a market of who are the people that were attacking Israel? Gentiles. And God is now to destroy the Gentile world, never will the Gentiles be a problem to Israel to stay in all eternity. And that is the times of the Gentiles. Not to be confused with the fullness of the Gentiles. We can't put that as well. I don't need to be sure that you can have understanding. All right. Rapture of the world is. But there's something I want to talk about rapture. Before rapture. You and I know that we are expecting rapture, right? Yes, sir. Okay. And I hope God is going to make us money to go to rapture and do rapture. Okay. But before we go to rapture, there is going to be a time when everybody here, because God has every one of us to die before last of Jesus' name. Before last of his life, a time is coming. We call it squeeze. We are the young people. All those who have been reading the true gospel of Christ, all who are believing the true gospel of Christ, before the rapture, we are going to pass through the period of queens. When well, you squeeze out the my ice cream, you see? Oh. Yeah? Yeah. You see? Where is the school? You see? No. You don't see? No. Everybody here, get ready. You are not going to get I am not going to get All of us. Are going to pass through the period we call squeeze. What is it because we are poor? Is it because we are poor? Is it because our, our little fellow children is small? Huh? Why are we going to be squeezed? Because of what we believe. What are we telling you here today? Is it the kind of thing you hear in the church of Adam here? 
Bro, by the time we are getting to rapture, whether you like it or not, they will know you there. They will know that you are saying something that is contrary to what they are teaching. If you do not tell something of you, no! The fathers are not going to come to attack you. Don't allow anybody to deceive you. This man is speaking his own. He's not coming to attack you. Those who will attack us during screening are those who will make them the name of Jesus Christ. Tell them who are going to attack you and you. What we what call Christian dust, which is different from Christianity. Christian dust is not Christianity. Christian dust, dust, you hear me? Christian dust is opposed to Christianity. Christian dust is, uh, Christian dust is Christianity rejected. People who are saying different things, they are saying that it's the wrong God. That is part of Christian God. There are no things to be bad. There are no things that is the wrong God. Look, it's not the doctrine of God. It's never part of that. It's not what we're going to There is no that prison in the Bible in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. It is not in the Bible. But second, because what you do. You don't know how they are baptizing. And they are better educated than us. They can't be funny if I write the book that they have to the research. Yes, they cannot see that there's not one example of baptism in the name of the Father and Son of the Lord in the entire New Testament Bible of Christ. Not one example. They see clearly that all the baptism in the Bible is the name of the Lord God Jesus Christ. And instead of the fact that they see it, they see it with the name of God. That is the of the world of God. That is Christian God. You say, I'm just going to only go to the You are talking about confirmation. All sorts of nonsense people, they forget. Mark 7 7. Where the same God Christ said, in vain they believe for him. The Jesus they were not worshiping him, nor did he say that, he had taken the worship him, but he said to worship him in vain. You know what? The worship of me is totally different. And he never believed it. In vain to take what it means, teaching or talking the commandments of God. We are to go see where children are baptized in the Bible. We are. It's not there. One man stood up and said, Let us in that way. So besides me, in that way. I should ignore what God is in his life. They will bring up statues and say, We need to pray to them. God is in his life. When this are all of the land, I suppose, what is the matter? I don't know if you see that thing. 
I'm correct? When he died, what did the present proof say? He said, I have prayed committing him to the heart of our blessed blessed name. Who will take it to Christ? Absolute heresy. Complete and total heresy. I rather want you to be that people and say, Amen. So heresy. And I think you are going to see you know what I'm saying. When you are going to come, no, you can't. Because there is no time to be done. The truth is going to happen. So what am I going to say to you? Those who are going to come attacking us through this period of screen, they are not Muslims. They are not Buddhists. They are not, not confused to you. They are people who are going, calling themselves Christians. They are not Muslims. They are not Christians. But we do not belong to God. So we will come attacking us. We will be killed shortly before we are killed. Many of us will be killed. That's what we will have. We will have our properties and we will have to struggle. We will pass through a lot of pain. But we just, you know, of course, because during that time also, God will do something new. He is going to pour out a special anointing on the children, the brethren of Christ. He is going to pour a special anointing on them, and they will do. What is called the quick thought walk. During that time, we will operate that the third pool in the seventh sea. If you know this number, the seventh sea, the book of Revelation, chapter 8. During this period, when this attack will come, God will pour a special anointing on the bright stars of this earth and will perform unbelievable wonders. As I as I as I only start to tell you here, I'm not discussing this. I feel that there is this thing now. Eh? Do I see Jamie Johnson? Is it possible to see Jamie Johnson? So, and I can be preaching to you during that time of grief. And it's going to reveal to me that some of these apostles are coming to attack us here. And I'm here preaching, I can't see them. And when I'm preaching to you, I just thought, I said, all of you who are coming. When you get to that group, all of you stay in your vehicle and you cannot move. And I continue to ask that time if you go, you will find them in the vehicle there. They cannot move. Hallelujah. That is the good thought work. We are going to experience this in our life. Yes, some of us are going to die. Yes, we are to do the lot of things. Physically, materially, but the God will accept the God will spread out that we do water. Raising someone, sorry, when raising someone from the ground will be nothing. We are meeting here, and a woman rushes in, carrying her dead body. And she says, Daddy, my dad is dead. And I say, do you believe Christ? He said, yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, let us come back to that child. And that child come back to that believe. 
we are going to have that kind of power. Amen. Not for the future, no, but for everybody. And that is how we know that you are so. This is what I am talking about. I don't think it will last more than 40 days. It's going to be very, very strong. And then, the blood is applied from there. And we will go to us to the Christ. I will give Christ to them. I will give it to the glory to God. We will come to us and do it to us. Now, what I want you to see before I go to the new expression here. Who are these people? Who are going to do this evil to us? Is there a sign that God are going to do? Are going to be around? The answer is why? So I ask you to pronounce that. Yes. They started. They are gathering. September last year, they held one of the big meetings under the chairmanship of Pope Francis. This present quote, uh, one big uh, party from Islam, and another group of Buddhist, Hindu, that is how you name this one. Let me give you everything you name. They call themselves human, human fraternity for world peace. Human fraternity for world peace. Human fraternity for world peace. What they are trying to do, they are trying to create a one world religion. Where everybody, it does not matter who you are, you are welcome. Whether you believe in Jesus Christ, the Jehovah, or Allah, or Hindu, or Confucius, or what is the name of the world, or Buddhism, whatever you are, you are welcome, including Buddhists in our neighboring countries as well, to go and get it. Next door. And uh, now in South America, called the uh, Brazil. Brazil. This is started by the Hindu state. No. Haiti. Yes. They are not just headquarters of good people. They are in the good Google and. Uh, all of these people are coming together as we are talking now. Their last meeting was September last year. They want to form this one world in the I ask you, when they stand down and they are praying, can you imagine? And the 
inside of this group are not just Catholics, Protestants are there, Anglican, Baptist, Presbyterian. Pentecostal stayed here. About two years ago, so I submitted to you a video where the polio was at their meeting along with Kubu Yuri. This is one of the two biggest Pentecostal churches of Nigeria. They belong to this group. The GFS, the Dakota Society of Nigeria, is there. CLS. Christian Association of Nigeria is there. Candidates is there. All of them belong to what is called the BCC, World Council of Studies. So the World Council of Studies and the Catholic Church, they are building this Christian group. It is this Christian group that they think of in Islam, they call it uh, uh, Buddhism, in Hinduism, in Confucianism, in uh, Buddhism, all of these people, they look up together. In their last meeting, the folks said, what is required, I'm quoting you now, is political democracy to bring peace to the world. So, talking about political democracy, is that a job? Is it not about church? So what are you going to do with the democracy analysis? The Christ not say this to Caesar, what was in Caesar, and this to go to God, what is what is God? These are the people who will come to attack us. Why am I saying this to you? That before the rapture will come on this earth, there will be this closure. We will try to bring the world under one division. And before we talk about political democracy, what this means, what is what it means to the establishment of one world government, which is what the United Nations is all about. The United Nations is going to be to the establishment of one world government. I would like to open this of one world religion attached to it. And all of this will be the under the leadership of the anti Christ. Understand this church. This is where we are going in the world today. And so, look at the world today. First, give me 10 minutes from the close. and we shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. Who is that he? He did it before. Who is that he? Yes. He, let's do it again. And in the midst of the week, he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease. So this he, that is the prayer. With small letter C of the six, the people of the race 
So this phrase in verse 27, he shall do what? I want you to pay 100% of attention that this one will go to Christ for today. He shall confirm what? For how long? How many years is that one week? Seven years. He shall confirm the covenant. Huh? Go to verse 25. Know therefore and understand. Not the thing of us to do that. Know therefore and understand. That's in the Gabriel, I can tell Gabriel talking yeah. to Daniel, yes? That will be going forth of the commandments. So I'm going forward of the commandments. To restore us in Jerusalem unto the earth. Shall be seven weeks. So, the people talk about commandments. No. Hmm? You don't talk about the commandments. It's going to be seven. This phrase with a small letter D comes up with a commandment. We can ask for more of these things. This is not like the conjunction I did over my grand and my seventeen years. Because call it to the people. Sound you with your banner. All the time of the day, we are here for today. I mean, sorry, six days, remaining one week, isn't it? Which is this week? And all of a sudden, the Bible talks about He, the priest, that confirms the covenant for one week. This, this is not a word of life. The church is not faith, this covenant of four weeks, and they are now inviting it to be this one week that is not there. That is where the problem has arisen. But in fact, in this way, it has to be the method of government. Do we have to do with any covenant of the priest? No. So the court, after the time of the year, you have one week to get. When you have got to uh, January 27. So we made the covenant for one week. Our mind actually goes here. This place that makes the covenant is in the room of the Do you agree? So this is so that we have anything to do in the time of faith. You figure the process now. This is what the state has always been doing. So, what I want to tell you before you quit now, that one week of COVID last is a totally separate thing. Nothing. So, who would be one week well of the 70 weeks of that year? That is 100% Jewish matter. And as we saw and speak today, on that 17th of January, we have brought 59 plus half week. We're coming only half week. Therefore, that half week does not translate into the one week of the covenant of that. Next time, please. You can't hear at all. It is a new 
him. The man is coming to make his own covenant. That is what they are doing now. All this meeting of all these religious ones, that's what they are working at now. When that time comes, as I shall do, you can see the Lord keeping us in the next one day. You will now see where that day has going to be paid. But put at the back of your mind, it is the covenant of that day. So okay. yes, let's keep it. We will then then by the spirit. We will then at the covenant. And you can now see what direction you and I have to go. This was the last message in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Father, Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for what you have done for us in here. We thank you for teaching us your word. We go to the ground because your spirit, thy spirit has touched for us. We are holy to be prayed forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord God Almighty. That which we are taught to do. May no power of hell take it away from us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father God, I explain this by your spirit to each and every one of us, your children, even in our private rooms, places of work and all in the mighty name of Jesus. Give revelation to your children to understand all that you have spoken to us concerning your word today in the mighty name of Jesus. And give your children the grace to go out there and share this with others who are laboring away today in heresy, in blasphemy, and in apostasy, being deceived by Satan and his forces, turning them away from the truth of the world. Leave your children here to go and share this truth with them. That your children among them, your seed among them, will hear your words and come back to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We commit this week into your hand. See your children through this week. Every move of the enemy directed at your children this week. Father, fight for your children. Do not allow Satan to have any power over us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Protect us, Lord. Provide for us and heal us, Lord. All machinations of Satan and his family directed at us. Father, we will bring them to mouth in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you because you know you have answered our prayer. Bless it be that we will Lord. Amen. In Jesus Christ's holy name, we pray. Amen. Arise, O Lord God, come down and show us thy mercy. For the time to favor Zion, I will plead, Lord, in all the committed to Zion, that is the time to favor us, even as we favor Zion. If all matters that your children commit into your hand, Father, may you answer us. Thank you for answering our prayers. For yea, the set time is come. We created time, Lord, and only you control time. I cry unto you, God, may you hear it in the time that you have allotted to us not the one that Satan has manipulated. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen. Receive the Christmas blessing.
The Lord bless our people. Amen. The Lord is very shine upon you and gracious unto you. Amen. Lord lift his countenance upon you. The Lord bless his children and his blessed peace. Amen. The grace. The May grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The, the Lord of God, God and the Spirit of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the mighty living master Jesus. Hallelujah.